about a game. It's a red skin. What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals, Oracles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are, or even grand rising. <laughs> Do you know what? I've been on holiday, Mars, so you're going to have to forgive me, especially my Patreons, because I've been Jamaica. I'm living it up in Jamaica, so it's like I've been very sporadic, but I'm trying not to be. Anyway. Let's see what's going down, Collective. Shall we figure out what's going down at the moment? I'm just going to get a couple of cards out and figure it out. And if you're not subscribed yet, why not? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video because, as you know, they get deep. They get hella deep. So, and I get more serious because usually I do the TikTok, so I've got the shorter YouTube. That is just entertainment, really. But these ones... I tend to, to get a little bit more serious and they go on for a little bit longer because there's a message there for someone. So let's figure out if there's any messages for you, the collective today. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, guides, beloved ancestors who love us un unconditionally as above, so below. Please give us the message that we need to hear right now. Please give us the message we need to hear. What messages do we need to hear for the collective as above, so below? Thank you, Spirit, as a within, so without. Thank you for the messages. So, if you've been here long enough, you know, my spirit going to gigster. <laughs> and I don't wait for the class to drop out. I actually get the message through my spirit guides and they lead me to pick what I need to pick. So, let's figure it out. This was the, was the first card that's going to come out. Oh, are you being very defensive right now? Why are you being defensive? Please tell us, Spirit, why, 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 why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is it that you're holding back or you're being defensive or you're just protecting your energy? What is it? Why are you doing this? Let's figure it out. Oh, against okay, happiness. Do you know what I'm getting here is, is that <laughs> collective. <laughs> Are you protecting your energy too much? And there's somebody out there that wants to come forward to you. Let's get this out of the way so that we can actually really get into So you can see this. Are you actually protecting your energy against somebody who wants to give you this ultimate happiness and you don't realise you're doing it? Are you being overprotective? I don't know, but let's figure it out and get some more cards out why this is here. Why is this here, Spirit? Why is the collective doing this? Please give us the message. Oh, because they've encountered people. This is the devil card. Let me get one more out. The devil and the wheel of fortune. Do you know what I'm getting here? You're defending yourself against past situations that just weren't good. They either had you trapped or you felt manipulated. When you see the devil card, it's all about... Um, somebody in their devil energy as well so you had to move forward from that situation the only problem is now is that you're really protecting your energy too much because there's somebody who wants to be with you who wants the ultimate happiness with you and you're just protecting your energy because of past betrayals it could be that you're just protecting your energy from people full stop that you just feel like i've got devil energy or are just empty vessels maybe that's what you're thinking but what we've got here is the world card yeah you're definitely wanting to not only have you got the wheel of fortune you're thinking about your fortune your future your destiny but we've also got you wanting to close down cycles is there somebody still in your energy and it's preventing you go to go forward you know what when i see that see the eight of swords do you know when I see, let me tell you something, when you see things like that, it's almost like what I'm seeing here is somebody is in your energy that you can't quite let go of, or um, this person doesn't want to let go of you, and it's preventing you from getting your happiness. It's almost like this person has got you up in their head. They, you know, you got them up in your head, or they're up, up in, you're up in their head. And they're not letting you go. They're just in your energy and you can't understand why this person wants. And you want to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. You want to close cycles with the World card. But you're just thinking, this person won't leave me alone. It's like it's up in your head. It's got you up in your head. So I want to know. Let's go into the specifics of what's going on here. Because let me tell you something. Just these six cards alone is deep. These six cards alone are just 
deep, my, no hell. What is going on? Are you protect just protecting your energy full stop because you just can't trust? It could even be somebody wanting to come back, but because they was the person that really did the number on you previously. Do you see the spiders web with the devil? It's almost like this person strategized to keep you up in your head. And are they doing the job? Is that what it is? Has this person done the job of, of what they wanted to do? Keep it, even though you're not going forward to this person at the moment, because it feels like you want to move forward, you want to close cycles. But even so, that is happening. It's almost like you're still up in your head about somebody in the past who was like a devil entity to you, who was an empty vessel for the devil, who did all sorts of nonsense. Manipulation, did things behind your back that you're not privy to. Do you know what I mean? But some, And it's like, yeah, um, rejection is God's protection sometimes, but this is either somebody who wants to come back to, who really does want to make you happy and you're very defensive because you're not trusting anymore. So, shall we go for one, each and every one of these cards and figure out why they are here? Because I can tell you one story, but let's see what else comes out. So, Holy Spirit, please tell us about the Seven of Wands. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? Yeah, because you're up in your head. This person actually did some portrayal to you in the past. Whoever you're defending yourself against, somebody did some portrayal to you in the past, and this is why it's got you up in your head. Why is the Ten of Cups here, there? Why is the Ten of Cups here, though? Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be equal, give and take of you. You can't make this up. You're up in your head about some previous betrayal while somebody wants to give you this ultimate balance. Who wants to give you the give and take? Who wants to be that person? Why is the devil card here? Though? Why is the devil card here? Holy Spirit, please give us the message. Why is the devil card here? Oh, now this changes things. This is somebody who might have come. Who wants to come back to you? Who came forward, who came back? Do, do you know what? When you see the chariot with the devil, it's like somebody wants to move forward to you and not for good reason. Because <clears throat> they see you pulling away with the Wheel of Fortune and with the World card. They see you pulling away, so they want to come back in. But in the meantime, it looks like there's somebody else in your prayer view. Or there's somebody who also wants to step to you, but this person is feeling you pulling away and wants to come back in to spoil that for you. Wow. Somebody else wants to come in to spoil that for you. It could just be the same person coming back who now wants to be equal with you. Who's to say? There's two scenarios here. Pick your scenario because this is a collective read. But what I'm getting here is, is that somebody wants to either come back to you and wants to give you the equal give and take this time. Or somebody from your past wants to come back and interfere. And that's maybe why you're moving forward and you're, you know, you're closing cycles. Why is the real fortune here, though, Spirit? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, the Empress? You see what I mean? Because you're the boss bitch, the boss man. You're, you know, you're starting creations. You're starting new things. You're doing, and this is why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Good luck, destiny, the creation of all things. Do you know what I mean? Why is the world card here, though, Spirit? Why is the world card here? Why are you moving on, Ace of Swords? Because you never got no reciprocity. When you see the Ace of Pause, Ace of Ace of Pause, Ace of Swords, this is about clarity and truth. Did someone not give you the clarity and truth, and that's why you're moving on? Because you're the boss bitch. But why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? So, so far, we've got this story of either somebody... I've got two scenarios here. You're defending yourself against somebody, something, okay? And it's made you not trust yourself and other people. You have to use your intuition, people. You have to use your intuition. But there's somebody who wants to come back to give you the equal give and take here with the Six of, six of Pentacles. Meanwhile, there's somebody else that might want to come back in your life. Or is it that the new the, the person that wants to have the Ten of Cups with you now is this previous person that you're defending yourself against and, and seeing the portrayal? Do you know what I mean? The Wheel of Fortune is here. This is about fate. This is about destiny. This is what you're moving towards as the Empress. You're creating new stuff, new enterprises, new, new jobs, whatever. And you've got the World card about closing cycles. Because you're not getting the reciprocity that you need from this situation. But the last card here is the Eight of Swords. Why is this here, Spirit? Why is this here? Please give us the message. Why is this here? Holy Spirit, please give me the message. The Page of Cups in reverse. You're up in your head because... Are you waiting for... Do you know what I get from that? Are you waiting for... You're up in your head because... You think this person should give you an apology and it's not happening. 
you're not getting the reciprocity. That's a second. That's but you, it's like is that what's what's got you stuck in your head? You need to give yourself com completion. You need to give yourself closure. Because nobody, no, imagine here's here's the here's the deal. Imagine somebody did came to you and they apologized and they said, "I'm really sorry, I won't do it again." How would you take it? Especially somebody who betrayed you like this. How would you take it? Would that be closure? Would that be completion for you? How? They just apologized for something they did. Did that make things better, or is it just words? It's just words, isn't it? Wow. It's better to give yourself closure, to give yourself completion and move on because you are doing big things. But just for this one niggly thing, just for this one niggly thing, and I wouldn't, do you know what I mean? Is it almost like you want this person to come forward? Let's look at the page of cups with me first. They're not going to come forward. They're not going to give you this reciprocity. They're not going to give you this closure. They're not going to give you what you want. So it's best that you move on because this is in reverse. Let me tell you something. This is deep deep let me tell you yeah but why have they got you up in your head why Ooh, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck are you going to get this closure you're not going to get the closure you're best to move on i mean this is the king of pentacles in their feminine energy this is you in the empress moving on creating your abundance creating your wealth you know you don't need to have this because you are going to find your six of cups your six of cups is about your true soulmate your true because what i'm getting here some of you had somebody who was in their devil energy okay and they could have been a karmic soul tie they could have been a karmic soul tie what you thought was a, a, a twin flame a soulmate a soul tie is a karmic and your true person is thinking about you. Your true person wants to give you the reciprocity. Your true person who's trying to come in, who's trying to come in, and you're not letting them because this person in your past has made it that you are complete, lost complete trust. Wow. Yeah. Here's the planning. Because somebody wants to come forward to you and they're planning to do that. I mean... I don't know if this is somebody who wants to give up or who doesn't want to give up. It could be in the future that this person doesn't give up. Somebody doesn't give up because here's the King of Cups. Sometimes for me, that the King of Cups gives you one face, but they're really something else. You decide what you're going to do with these people because this is deep. I'm doing a short and sweet one and to the point because I'm on holiday. But this is a message that Spirit has come out with. There's someone you're defending yourself against or somebody you pop your barriers, your boundaries, okay? And they could be trying to come back. Meanwhile, there is somebody else. And it could even be a secret admirer that wants to give you the balance that you want, who wants to give you what you need. Stop looking at the past. This is what this is about. Stop looking at the past and move on. Stop looking at the past and move on, people. Short and sweet and to the point, people. This is about you using your discernment, your intuition. That's what you need to do. Anyway, till next time, people. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the alert bell so you know we're not going to do another video because, as you can see, spirit is not joking. Anyway, till next time. Take care.